Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today, looking at Windows Update Error Code 0x80070005. This is a failed attempt at updating Windows 10, often due to a access denied or permissions problem, which you don't know about. So we're going to take you through a few steps, and they're all pretty easy at any skill level. One of these should work. First thing you're going to do, I just had this error. I click Try Again. I click Try Again. I click Try Again. Third time it worked. If not, if you haven't rebooted prior to this problem, go ahead and reboot and see if the permissions or whatever problem you're having gets, I like to just say, unstuck, if you will, and then try it again. This could save you a lot of time. If not, a lot of people are having good luck doing this right here. We're going to run reg svr32 space quartz dll in PowerShell or the command prompt. Command prompt can be opened with CMD, right click run as admin, or run as administrator here. You can also press the Windows key plus X and run PowerShell as admin. Be sure you run it as admin or you will get error messages. So here we go. Type this in REG SVR 32. Hit space QUARTZ dot DLL. Go ahead and press enter. Let me try it again just so we can see if anybody else had the same problem. That trailing backslash when I hit enter probably screwed me up. There you go. So that's why it's very important to make sure you type it correctly so you see this message. So just that one little trailing backslash I smashed when I hit enter screwed me up. Now try it again and see if you can do your Windows update. Next up, Windows update troubleshooter. Start, settings, update and security. Look for troubleshoot right here. Oh, leave me alone. And if you don't see a bunch of troubleshooters here, click on additional troubleshooters. And look for Windows Update right here. And click on run the troubleshooter. Now, if you were wondering, the Windows Update troubleshooter is kind of neat. And it could almost be the first thing I suggest in this list because what it does is goes with a database of known problems and looks for all the known problems that's in that database and then it will try to resolve what it finds. You can see it's looking for problems, detecting additional problems. This will be done in the next 10 seconds or so. And it will tell me if it found a problem. I see this quite frequently. But as you can see, it said it found a problem. It made some changes. So it tells you right here, try the task again. So now you go ahead and you're already in Windows Update anyway, because as we mentioned, it starts settings. You are already here in Update and Security in the Troubleshoot tab, so just come back here to Windows Update and go ahead and check for updates again. There you have it. Last but not least, this is one Microsoft has suggested. We've used it before and it does work. We're going to reset Windows Update with a PowerShell script. Once again, should be safe for anybody to use. It's not too difficult. I've already downloaded it, but if you check the video description for this page, here's the link right here, or you can type in Reset dash Windows Update PS1 Major Geeks, and we'll end up at our page. All right, let's see here. I'm moving everything around on me. Downloads, here we go. There it is. We're going to right click on that. We're going to look for Run with PowerShell, and we're going to click on that. Here's our window, and it's going to ask us for a prompt. We're going to press Y. You don't have to be uppercase like that just press Y press enter now before I press enter you're gonna see some red letters go by which are failures etc but you'll see some successes regardless this is last because this could work there's some of your errors there's some of your positives and then when it's done it close so the this particular reset Windows update script should have reset everything for you and now you can actually go right back in and try to do your Windows update one more time so once again one of these four, five things should help you, but don't forget to do a try again a couple of times and reboot and just work your way down the list. This is what we feel we will have your best success rate in in order. All right, there we go. So bottom right-hand corner, little Major Geeks logo pops up. You line your mouse over that. You can click subscribe, which we always appreciate. Let us know if we helped you out. If not, we'll help you further in the comments if we can. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.